Hi, this is Don LaPlante from the SUNY Kobolska Library with a short tutorial about finding film reviews and scholarly analysis of films. I want to show you how to distinguish between those two types of writing, help you structure a search that weeds out some of the less appropriate sources, and help you avoid some of the common pitfalls you might encounter in doing this kind of search. Uh, much of the information that I'm going to talk to you about will also apply to other research using the library search engine. But if you've only done previous research assignments focused on the sciences or technology, uh, business, or the social sciences, you'll discover that a few things are done differently when researching the arts and humanities. First, though, I want to start by reminding you to check out the library guide that I created for the HUMS 210 course. The Sources tab at the top includes some helpful information that explains the difference between film reviews published in popular sources like newspapers and magazines and film criticism, which you'll find in scholarly peer-reviewed journals. There's also a good list of sources for both kinds of writings that you might want to check out. On the Searching tab where this video lives, you'll also find a helpful list of warnings and pitfalls. This list highlights some of the most common mistakes that people make when they're looking for sources for the film analysis assignment. So take a minute to read through those boxes before you continue with the rest of this video. Okay, my first piece of advice when doing a search like this is to use the advanced search feature of the library's website because it'll give you multiple boxes to enter different search terms and that can be very helpful when doing this kind of research. I would recommend starting with the title of the film and the name of the director as your first two keywords to put in the first two boxes. Another important tip, unless you're looking for a film with a title that's a single word like Rashomon or Moonlight, make sure you put the full title in quotation marks so the search engine knows that you only want to see things that have those exact words in that exact order, not just any article that happens to use all of the words from that title. As an example, if I did a search for modern times with just the word modern times, I'd get a lot of results that use the word time and the word modern, but not right next to each other. If, however, I put that search in quotation marks, it would only show me results that had those two words right next to each other. Another way to quickly narrow your search results is to add a second search term. I would recommend adding the director's name, Charlie Chaplin, also in quotes. Every time you add a new search term, your results list will get smaller because it has to have each of the things that you list in those boxes in order to show up in your search results. If we look at the results you have now, you'll notice not everything on our list is actually relevant. Some of these only mention this film in passing. Some are encyclopedia entries. Some are about other people who worked on this movie. Some are just newspaper stories about Charlie Chaplin. If we're looking specifically for scholarly sources, we can use this limiter on the side that says scholarly sources. Clicking that and applying the filter will weed out all other types of content, so we're only left with scholarly articles we get almost 400 results, some of which look pretty good. But we can narrow results down even more by adding a line and then adding the magical term criticism and interpretation. Put it in quotation marks. And then make it a subject term in the dropdown. When we do that, we narrow our results down to 58 results that are closer to what we want. Criticism and interpretation is an official subject term designating scholarly criticism. And that's very different from the kind of reviews you find in newspapers and magazines. But what if you're only looking for non-scholarly sources like newspapers and magazine articles? Let me demonstrate that with another search. This time I'll use the film Moonlight and include the director's name, Barry Jenkins. Notice Moonlight doesn't need quotation marks here because it's a single word, unlike the name Barry Jenkins, which I want exactly like that in my search. After I do that search, I can find the material type limiter and choose articles and newspaper articles. Notice I'm not choosing reviews 
because those tend to focus on reviews of books about this subject. Next, I'll go back to the Limit To menu and indicate I don't want any scholarly sources by checking the Exclude button on the right side. Then I apply the filters and take a look at the results. Here also, we can narrow our results by using a similar trick to that I showed you with the criticism and interpretation. If we want film or movie reviews, we can add a line and then add film reviews or, in capital letters, movie reviews. I made this a subject search, but if you get too few results that way, you can do it as a regular any field search instead. If I do this search, I get an awful lot of results, but beware, some of these results are actually reviews of a later film by the same director. They show up here because the article refers back to the director's earlier works. If you're unsure about the difference between a movie review and film criticism, don't forget on the library guide that I created in the Film Reviews box under the Sources tab, there's a brief little description of the difference there. Just so you can see, here is a film review from a scholarly journal. Very short, no work cited, very little information about the author, compared to film criticism from a scholarly journal, which is much, much longer, has no pictures, and ends with a very long list of notes and references. That's one of the easiest ways to tell the difference between criticism and reviews. I hope you'll find these tips helpful as you're working on your film analysis assignment. Don't forget, though, check out that HUMS 210 guide for more information about sources, clarifying the differences between scholarly criticism and film reviews, and notice at the very end, if you need more help, there's a Get Help tab, which will take you to a chat icon. If you'd like to speak with a librarian and you're having difficulty, you want to get some answers, some help from a librarian, click this button. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, a librarian will be standing by to help answer any questions you have. Thanks for listening.